What is up guys, your boy Revan here today and because we are only a few days away, I know there's like a piece of hair just, ah, uh, I hate that. So we're only a few days away from world championship, so I decided to do like two part series, two part series, like it's not serious when it's only two part, uh, but two videos uh, of my top five decks that might win uh, Pokemon trading card game world championships, but also there's going to be another video with the five dark horse decks that might pick up a win. So let's just jump right into it, that is uh, the list that I think in the order, actually I made an order, I have the, you know, I have the card here, so the first, like number five, what I think might pick up a win during World Championships is definitely one of the Malamar decks. Um, is it a Malamar Necrozm, is it Malamar Giratina? It doesn't matter that much. What I'm saying is one of the Malamar options uh, can actually pick up a win during World Championships or definitely some top 8 spot. Super consistent deck, you know, Mysterious Treasures, Giratina deals a lot of damage, has really good matchups against many of the decks. So I can see that happening, especially during uh, day 1, day 2, uh, they will have really good matchups. Day 3, you know, the finals, that would be a little bit tougher, uh, but again, that, that that is a deck that can really, really, really pick up a win here. So from now we're going to number four, but let me just sip the coffee. Oh, that's a good coffee. Um, number four, and actually number four, I know it's like, it should be a little bit higher, but probably that's what you're gonna think. But uh, for me, Green's Reshazad is number four. It's a fourth pick, not a second, not a first. So wait, Raven, so what's that? <laughs> you'll say. So Green's Thresh is out, a fantastic deck, a really powerful deck that can, you know, uh, not only accelerate super fast, but also can actually, you know, get those hard knockouts for 300 damage. So definitely you know, a deck to be worried about, uh, the deck to learn how to play against, but also there are a few techs uh, that are being played in like Malamars, um, Pika Rums and other decks. For example, Tapu Fini, right? Uh, some decks are playing Frostlass. So that's why for me it's not, you know, at higher spot. But definitely, you know, he is a contender to winning this year's World Championships. Number three, number tres, is a deck that I actually play IRL, and that is a Pikaram Choo Choo deck. With, and that's with, with the Donwick Necrozma version. And I think. The paralysis here is super consistent. Deck looks uh, really good. You get, you know, you get your uh, full blitz turn two, you know, almost constantly this uh, this year or uh, this time. And there's only so much switches. There's only so much trainer cards that will help your opponent switch their active. And we, well, if something happens to us, we have the Dawning Necrozma. So for me, if the deck is not going to break. It can easily destroy Malamar, it can easily destroy um, Reshazad, and it can pick up a really nice win towards, 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 uh, during World Championships. Honestly, that is a deck that, if there'll be no other decks, I would just say that's a number one. But there's still two more decks to go, and of course, with number two deck, I mean, I was kind of hard, but uh, I thought, you know, the number two is a little bit better. And Picarom, we all know how Picarom plays. Uh, Picarom is in the format since February, so definitely know that is a deck uh, known top to bottom. And playing it, you know, without your opponent knowing what you're gonna do is gonna be hard. And sometimes, you know, sometimes a tech card or especially, you know, uh, a real surprise in the deck can mean you win, right? So definitely uh, some variants of it might win. Uh, world Championship. So number two, actually number two, I'm gonna look at my list. No, I don't have to look at my list. I know what it is. It is a drum roll, please. It is a dark box deck. And why dark box? Well, I know the deck is not, you know, like super consistent every single time, but it is a powerhouse. It is a powerful deck that can accelerate super fast, takes more prize cards with the Sableye Tyrantar, can also play Black Market so you take less prize, and in terms of like health points or HP on Pokemons, also he is the dominating force, more HP right again uh, on Sableye than on Reshazard or Picaram because it's a 280, so definitely know as something that 
can win and again acceleration on that deck and the fact that you know you can move the energy the way you want to is just fantastic i love it and honestly if there would be no number one deck that we're gonna have i would like my money would be on 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 pico rom or on this deck definitely those are gonna be the first two spots but there's also number one deck and the number one deck for me that honestly i just think that is if this deck is not going to win, that is going to be crazy. And that's a Mewtwo box. Mew Mew box, actually. Um, he has a counter to everything. Literally, you know, Altaria is a counter to GXs. You know, you've got your Greninjas. You've got almost literally every single GX is in the deck. And it works perfectly. Of course, Power Plant is a counter. But let's be honest, you know, even without uh, ability on the Mew Mew, the deck works quite perfectly, right? It has a counter to every single matchup they are in again game ones are going to be super hard for those decks because they have to you know know what their opponent plays so the, the game one they're kind of kids in the dark but game two game three they just know exactly what is happening of course the deck requires a ton of knowledge about the meta about what can happen and not only about like those five decks that i've uh, said but also about all the other decks that may appear in, in, in uh, the World Championships. So, definitely a deck that is a powerful, a deck that will take someone to the finals, but is every player of that deck gonna be uh, good? No. Is everyone playing this deck gonna be super high? No. That is a deck that requires a such an amount of skill, that only few probably will end up in like top uh, 16, top 32, but they will be significantly, uh, you know, higher than, than than the other decks. So those are my five picks. So I'm gonna say that again. Uh, number five, Malamar variations, right? Variant of Malamar. Then we've got Greens Reshazad. Picaram with Choo Choo and Donwing Necrozma. Then we have, because I don't want to you know, show you the middle finger. Uh, then we have a dark box, and number one is Mew Mew box. So those are my five picks for the World Championships. Uh, what are your top five picks for decks for World Championships? Let me know in the comment section down there below. I want to hear that. I really do want to hear that and read that. And also don't forget that down there below in the description you have 5% discount on any code you would purchase on Professor Oak uh, on top of their discount. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos about Pokemon trading card game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye, bam, and good night. Boing, dah.